To sew the gathered ruffle of tulle, I began with the same step of placing the masking tape right in the middle of the fabric sample that will form the ruffles. I measured out the fabric width to be 4 inches, so I tried placing the tape as close to the middle as possible, which would be around the 2 inch margin, and then sewing a basting stitch, which on my machine is a stitch length of 4, right down the center of the masking tape. Second, after the basting is complete, I gather the tool together to fit the size of the second sample fabric that this ruffle will be attached to. In this demo, I use two rows of basting stitches, but in the future, I will just be using one because it's so much easier to deal with. Third, I knotted the end of the gathered string to enclose the gathers. It's important to note that I use two layers of tool for the ruffles and for the second sample fabric that the ruffles will be attached to as well. I did this in order to be able to see the end results better and to understand what two layers of tool would actually look like. Fourth, I pinned the ruffles onto the fashion fabric and straight stitched in the middle of the ruffles. However, the stitch came out very prominent. And so I experimented a bit and then found out that if I had sewn the basting stitch a little further away from the middle 2 inch margin, then I could have sewn the ruffles onto the outside fashion fabric right in the middle of the ruffles at the 2 inch middle with a final straight stitch and take out the gathering, the gathering string altogether. And this will allow for the stitch to be less prominent and therefore appear more professionally finished and less of a craft project. Finally, after that ordeal, the ruffles were stitched onto the fashion fabric. I think it turned out really pretty. I might actually end up using more layers of tulle to achieve a fuller ruffle look. 